Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 28. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. For he who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and his church. Everybody loves a great mystery, especially when you can get some clues to figure it out. Here the Apostle Paul says this is a great mystery, and yet he gives us the clues to understanding it by talking about a husband and his relationship with his wife. But in particular, he goes back to Adam and quotes what Adam said when he said, this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You know, the creation of Adam and Eve is very interesting. When God created Adam, he created him from the dust of the ground breathed into his nostrils, and Adam became a living soul. But he did not create woman right away. He let Adam become lonely. As Adam looked around, he saw that on the planet that God had placed him on, there was nothing like him. There was beautiful creations from God but nothing like him. The word for self in Hebrew is ish. He was an ish without an isha. And as God paraded the animals before him, Adam could get some things from the animals, some kind of a relationship, but nothing that he was longing for, nothing that he truly needed and wanted. Then God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and from his side, God took the rib of man and he formed woman. And when Adam awoke, God presented her to him. And when he presented her to him, Adam could now say, Isha, she's like me. She's one that I can go through life with, one that I can truly fellowship. Nothing on planet Earth was like her. She came from inside of Adam. God did not create her like he created Adam. He took a side of Adam. And the side of Adam became Eve. And when you put Eve and Adam together, there is fellowship. Now that's very interesting. Because Adam couldn't have fellowship with anything like he could have it with Eve. What makes Christians special? What makes them so different from the rest of God's entire creation? The answer is partially the forgiveness of sins, but that's not really the answer. What makes man so different from all of creation is that when God created us, his church, individual members of his body, 
He created us from the cross and from the side of Jesus. And from the water and the blood that flowed from Jesus' side, the church was created. And now when you become a Christian, the Bible says in Titus 3 and verse 5, it is through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Bible teaches that when we become Christians, according to Acts 2, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit that came because of the open side of Jesus on the cross. And now, now as we live our lives, God can fellowship us because he's fellowshipping his own spirit. God cannot fellowship anything but himself. And he can fellowship us because we have the Holy Spirit of God. That's what the Bible means when it says in Romans 8 and verse 16, For the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. A person who's not a Christian may even live better than a Christian. He may be a good moral person as the world looks at morals. But he doesn't have the Spirit of God. And God can no more fellowship that person and accept him into his fellowship than you or I could marry an animal. And get from that animal a part of ourself. Why are you special as a Christian? Why are you so unique? Because your sins are forgiven and you're endowed with the Holy Spirit of God. And that, that is the great mystery that God has revealed between a man and a woman and Christ and his church. If you've enjoyed this podcast, you can hear more by going to johndkimbrough.com. Thank you.